Good evening, a very happy Diwali to all the viewers of CNN News 18. A history has been made in Britain. Rishi Sunak becomes the new Prime Minister of the United Kingdom after his rival, Preni Modan, dropped out of Prime Ministerial race. Rishi Sunak enjoyed support of over 50% of Conservative MPs, while his rival, Penny, has, has received support of around 25 MPs. In the history of UK, Rishi Sunak has become the first Prime Minister of non-British origin to assume the highest office of the land. Let me go straight to Meghna Desai, member of House of Lords, joining me from London. Lord Meghna Desai, what does today mean for you? Meghna Desai, if you can hear me, sir. Lord Meghna Desai, if you can hear me, sir. Let me, uh, I'll be going to Lord Meghna Desai in just a bit. Sanjay Suri is joining me live as well. Sanjay, we are seeing history unfold. It's Diwali here in India and Diwali for Indians in Britain as well. Sanjay, if you can hear me. Yes, yes, please. Yes, so the formal announcement, has that can happened? You, can you repeat that? Yes. Has the formal announcement happened? Oh, yes, the formal announcement has happened. That's clear. It's done. Um, this was announced by uh, Sir Graham Brady, who heads the 1922 committee that uh, handles the uh, parliamentary affairs of the Conservative Party. Uh, that announcement uh, came in Parliament shortly after Penny Modo announced that she's dropping out, which she did uh, minutes before and uh, which she had no choice but to. Uh, so this is now formal and final. And uh, as we speak, uh, uh, Rishi Sunak, the new Prime Minister to, of Britain, is now going to be addressing uh, members of Parliament within uh, the Parliamentary House uh, right here. And uh, the next step, of course, would be that he will be invited to the palace, uh, to Buckingham Palace by the king to form government. But uh, that may well happen tomorrow rather than uh, today. So we are waiting to uh, hear a schedule for that. So that is the ceremonial part of it. But officially, formally, this is final, done and dusted. Rishi so, Sunak is Prime Minister. Yes, so Rishi Sunak is the next Prime Minister. And what a phenomenal journey it has been for the former Chancellor, uh, 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 Sanjay, and uh, is it coming as a surprise or would you say that after, uh, you know, after uh, the former prime minister opting out, Boris Johnson opting out, it was only a matter of time that we would have seen this happen, you know, Penny Mordaunt, and I'm looking at her uh, withdrawal letter. Uh, she says very clearly that she is uh, going to support him and, uh, and, and that it means a lot for her too. Well, Penny Mordo is uh, really neither here nor there that she had, uh, she made a bid. Uh, it was never a strong bid. Uh, she figured minutes before that she would lose out and she did. And so she uh, politely uh, said she would support Sunak. So Penny Mordo is now out of this. But was this expected in this round? Certainly, uh, it was expected that he will do very well. The early stage of this uh, negotiations and this uh, race uh, raised a question because as Boris Johnson had said in his uh, little farewell note, he had reached out to Rishi Sunak and Penny Mordo. He had talks with them to work out some sort of unity. There were some sort of talks, some sort of proposal was made to form government together. But a lot of uh, MPs said they do not want uh, Boris Johnson back as PM. Hmm. There were suggestions that Rishi Sunak could be a PM and Boris Johnson could join that cabinet, which he did not accept. So those talks stalled. So the minute Boris Johnson was out, hmm. it became quite certain that it will be Rishi Sunak as Prime Minister, that Penny Mordaunt would never be in a position to mount a credible challenge. And uh, this was uh, really arising from the last round when true uh, trust won, but Rishi Sunak did far better than expected. He got a very sizable uh, part of the Conservative uh, the conservative members vote 
and uh, therefore that did indicate a very strong ground swell. A lot of um, party members who voted for Liz Truss then said, 40% of them said they regretted their decision, they wished they had voted for Rishi Sunar. So in a sense, the party membership has also spoken and that has indirectly though, uh, but uh, very definitively uh, informed the decision that we have seen that the MPs have taken. So uh, it is not just the MPs, the MPs uh, with a good deal of backing uh, yes. that was evident from the party members the last time for Rishi Sunak and their sentiments and their views after Liz Truss had won and they thought mistakenly and who can say that they thought wrong. So after that uh, course correction, uh, it uh, definitely was uh, Rishi Sunak once Boris Johnson was out of any uh, okay. wheeling, dealing or I arrangement. Sanjay, stay with us. Happen. I can see Maximilian Hess also joining us. Also on the show is Hassan Arun. He's the researcher in political economy at uh, King's College in London. Uh, but first, let me get a quick word from Lord Meghna Desai. Lord Meghna Desai, what does today mean for you? Well, you know, we have, I think we are very proud. At least I'm very proud. Not because he is Indian, but because he's a very, very good uh, MP and he'll be very good uh, chancellor. I think we must make a clear distinction. Rishi Sunak has been made prime minister, not because he's an Indian, but because he's British uh, with I Indian ancestry. Hmm. And I think it's a great achievement because at a very young age, at 41, he's one of the youngest prime ministers Britain has ever had. I think only Pete the Younger was younger than him. So okay. I think we have to... And have Lord, to Lord, Lord Desai, if I can ask you to tilt up your camera a little, that will be a better frame. Yes, yes, that, that's a better frame, sir. Yes, so you are saying certainly that, you know, not because he's an Indian, but the fact is, Lord Meghna Desai, all the, the Indians have been part of the British success story. Uh, and, you know, the, the, for, that, for that, would you say, uh, yes, he is, uh, you know, he, he is worthy of the role that he is going to take, but uh, full credit to also the Indians who have played an important role there. Well, let me put it this way. Hmm. Dada Ben started this in 1891. Hmm. Okay, he was the first member of, of a House of Commons. Uh, in 1891, Dada Bhai yes. So we have had Indians in uh, House of Commons for more than a century, yes. for, for nearly 120, uh, 130 years. So I think that that is true. And of course, there have been many, many brilliant Indians in, in uh, UK economic and political and social life. There's no doubt about that. But this one is the highest any Indian, has, any person of Indian origin has ever reached. And I think I really want to make the distinction that he is there, not, not so much because he is Indian, although Indians like it, but because he is a very clever uh, a British uh, person. He's an MP, he's a, he's a, he's a brilliant, he's a brilliant chancellor. And patiently he has been through many competition and at last he has made to the prime minister as he very well deserves. And I think we, we, we should be proud of that. You know, I always say Barack Obama was, uh, her father was Kenyan, hmm. but Barack Obama was a president of America. He, he was not there because he was a Kenyan, but because he was a good American and, and made a good president. Yes. Rishi Sunak is the same way. Rishi Sunak was born in Britain and he is British and he has Indian, Indian ancestors, but he will be a great prime minister because he will be a great British MP. Yes. And, and from